Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mike from Karasuno TV. We are here back again live on Twitch uh, and today we are streaming two episodes of Vanitas uh, starting with episode two and then episode three of course. Uh, so we are now one episode in and so far I, I liked it. It was a solid first episode. You know, it was nothing uh, it was nothing crazy, right? It was nothing that um, like blew me away from the first episode, but it was really solid um, and it left me wanting more. Right, we're, we're gonna get into that in episodes two and three. I think we are, what, six behind? I think that the seventh episode just dropped recently, right? Something like that, I think I think it was seven. Something like that. Um, so, we're a little bit behind, but we're catching up, guys, and we're gonna be pounding through these episodes. So we're doing two today, and then the next one, uh, that that's, that's TBD right now, but I'm excited for two and three. Let's see where we go. Let's see where the story starts to build up. We have a little like foundation right now. Let's see where we jump off from there. Guys, of course, come join us on Twitch. We are live here. Uh, if you wanna know when we go live on Twitch, of course, follow me on Twitch. You'll get the notification when we go live to your phone. Uh, you know, if you're on Twitch, you'll see me go live over in the sidebar. Uh, if you join Discord, I ping on Discord. If you follow on Twitter, I tweet out when we go live. Uh, the community posts, keep your eyes open on that tab over on YouTube. I'm going to post there. So plenty of places for you to find out when we go live and to come join these live streams without, you know, you get the full uncut experience here. That's only available if you're a Patreon post live stream. So uh, coming to the Twitch streams is the ideal watching experience, guys. And that's another thing too. check out the Patreon if you're interested in that. And finally, join the Discord, guys, because we have great conversations there. Um, it, it, it's a great place to be. We have a, a great group of people there. Uh, we have constant conversation every day. So you're gonna wanna join the Discord, guys. But thank you for watching. Um, you know, strap up, <laughs> buckle up, uh, get ready for Vanitas episode two. Let's fly for this. Oh yeah, so okay. So we're, we're, we're picking up right where the first episode left off. Oh, okay, so I thought, I thought Noah was going to take the book. I thought he wanted the book. It's just an assessment. <laughs> Look at the face. Oh my goodness, these these reaction, these reaction poses, these reaction faces. Episode one, he was giving off a different vibe, though. I feel like he had the that he had like the embarrassed look on his face. He seemed no way seemed to be. He seemed to enjoy the company. Count Orlock. Count Orlock. I wonder what Vinny, like, like, is it as Vinita said, so there's some kind of understanding between the vampires and the humans, because this, hmm, was it? No, it did involve a human, didn't it? The conflict in episode one, I was gonna, I was trying to think, was that only between vampires, but no, it seemed like it was the, the Amelia, right? She was, was she human? Was she human before that first episode? Hmm. Before she got corrupted by the milady. Hmm. I can't quite remember. Amelia was... Okay, so... Okay. Thank you, Danger. Amelia was a vampire. So it was all vampires, right? That, that incident. So what I'm thinking is that vampires and, and the humans, as Vanitas just said here, they were able to negotiate the release or the, you know, of these two prisoners, our main characters here, because it was maybe just a vampire incident, right? You know, it wasn't involving any other humans. That could be a reason why. We'll see. Ah, uh, beautiful Paris. Where's Enzo? Streaming tears out of his face. This is what I want to see when I walk, when I visit Paris eventually. I better walk and there better be petals flying everywhere. It sparkles in the air, the water glistening, not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> they need to go back and drag him away. Look, okay, I, I might have been right. A vampire was appointed by the queen to maintain the balance between the vampires and the humans that live there. So that's probably the role of the count, AKA why he stepped in, negotiated the release of the two prisoners. <sighs> I mean, what can I say? There's my one right prediction for the rest of the show. 
Damn, the butlers are really at their throat. Or Vanitas is. No, he's just standing in the back, like, fine. You know what you, he reminds me of? It was like, this was like an instant, it, it like instantly clicked. And I haven't even read this, but kind of similar, similar vibe. The D. Gray Man guy with the, with the monocle. The guy with like the long, the big top hat. Kind of. It just, it, I, I don't know why I got that vibe. I've never even watched D. Gray Man. Oh, that's right. I, I, I'm forgetting too that Vanitas is a human. I'm thinking he's a blue-eyed vampire. But the blue-eyed vampire was who he inherited his name from. So has blue eyes though, which is an interesting fact. <laughs> he wants the book and the girl. <laughs> oh wait, so maybe that's why Vinitas wanted her. He knew that she was d down for the count and that they were going to eliminate her. See, no way. A little shocked here because he probably, he probably isn't, he, he, he thought she was just free to go, you know? <laughs> Vinitas, he's real. He's real cocky here. Damn. He's up in arms against him, too. Like, they really hate him. Ooh, flashback. Wait, this was the beginning of the episode. That was the guy we saw licking the blood off the hand. Uh oh. Little PTSD kicking in. Ooh, we're kicking the desk across the... Okay, so we know our next task here. And and we could we know that Noe, Noe is so passionate about this because of these flashbacks that we're seeing. So I guess that there was a similar situation when he was younger, right? Involving the mysterious dark-haired kid we saw in the beginning, the blood liquor, and... A third party young girl who went through to what seems to be what Amelia is going through right now um, and there was no hope for her then probably she probably ends up dying or you know getting eliminated whatever uh, flash forward to now and he's trying to uh, you know, avoid that same situation I guess could be one of the reasons why you know in addition to observing the the book why he's sticking near Vanitas, you know, he, he Vanitas has this sort of, you know, recovery power, or using the book, something like that, right? You know what, I'm getting, I'm getting this, this, that kid with the dark hair from No Way's Past, I'm getting vibes that he might be, he might be a villain that crops up later on, right? Seems like he went down the bad path and no way strayed to the well didn't stray but no way stuck on the on the good path right. Dante Hinata, Hinata in the Vina, in the Vanitas universe Dante. An information peddler, cool. <laughs> oh, look, Dante's getting a little bit jealous. <laughs> Oh wait, Gallery, Gallery Valentine. Uh, Enzo, you said something. It's re let's see, really exists, but it's called differently. Cool. Is that a street? Is that the name of a street? Looks like it's like a little alley or something, right? Whoa, there's those red blood cells. What was that? Oh. No way, act. Cool. Was that like the activation of him, like his his vampire? Johan, he looks like he looks like another informant. You know, similar dress, bat on the shoulder. Uh oh, what's Dante gonna do? Is Dante gonna step in, try and save him? <laughs> Just toss Vanitas at him. Yeah, that, yeah, that's right, f because, you know, we're forgetting he's a human. The book's opening up. <laughs> but I, wait, I thought they were supposed to cleanse him in front of the, the count. Oh, par okay. So he didn't, he didn't fully um, cure him, fix him. Just paralyze him, but... 
Who are these two? Luca? Luca and John. Oh. Wait, is this a, maybe this is like a, a group that, that's hunting it. <laughs> it can corrupt a vampire's true name. Wait, we've been seeing it used by Vanitas to cleanse the name, right? That's what I think, right? We've been see, he he uses it to cleanse. So that's this is news to this is news to me. So it could also be used to curse or corrupt. Interesting. So I, very powerful book then, huh? <laughs> oh no way, that's harsh. Oh, is he gonna save? <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, he barely, he barely said, look at Vanitas' eyes. Uh-oh. Rips off the shawl. Yellow eyes. Yellow? <laughs> Why are the dogs out in the chat? <laughs> Quick pause. Speaking of, I saw May said that she loves the humor. It's funny because um, I, I, I feel like the 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 adaption. I, I don't know. I haven't read the source, but I feel like the adaption always adds a little bit. Like uh, the studios take their liberties and add a little bit of humor, at least spice it up. And and that's one area that you could see the style of the studio come out. Because I feel like the comedic timing um, in Vanita so far gives me. It reminds me of. The comedic timing in Soul Eater and in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, especially with the like, the faces of the characters, like in like those moments where like they go like chibi almost, right? Um, like shock moments, stuff like that. So it's um, I feel like that's an area right where we could see like the studio a little bit, but. Also, I'm not familiar with the adaption or the, or excuse me, uh, the source. So I'm not 100% sure if it's, a, you know, directly coming from the source. Crimson Gauntlet. Oh my goodness. Look at that thing. <laughs> Country Bumpkin Squared. <laughs> she slew her own client. The Hellfire Witch, John. <laughs> Vanita just booked it out of there. Ooh, no, I caught it, though. Damn. She spun the gauntlet. Oh, it, like, released energy. <laughs> oh, this pink fire. Goodness gracious, she's just caught this insane amount of collateral damage here, right? Oh. So, Buro... They're using the word burrow. What? Maybe that's almost like a... Like a... A hitman, a mercenary. It seems like that's the context they're using it in. Your Highness, I guess. That's Altice. Okay. Burrow, I'm thinking mercenary? Mercenary, hitman of sorts, right? Because now he just said, like, you're my... I forget the word he used, but protector, knight, almost... She put that gauntlet on and she went right back to the war. Blanked out. Oh, well, our boys got away though. Okay, a matter of application. AKA, you could do good or you could do bad with the book. Oh, no way, throwing his, his support behind Vinitas. Only hope for a swift return. I'm thinking, what are they? I feel like they're going to pivot and go heal the brother. It's healing the older brother, I'm telling you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was episode two in the bag. Um, pretty good episode again. Uh, I'm loving the humor. Humor is a real selling point for me. Um, it seems like, you know, we're getting a little bit more of a... 
it, we're, we're getting a little bit more sprinkling of information. Um, and what I was going to lead into was saying that the next episode is probably going to, you know, because they're, they're talking about how they're going to defeat Jean. And I was going to say, or I, I did say at the end of the episode, and I'm saying again now, the key is healing the, bro the older brother. They could somehow find the older brother, heal the older brother, prove to Luca and Jean that they're good, they don't mean harm. Uh, then they could, you know, defeat them in a way. And as I turn my attention over to my anime list, it's up on my screen, I see uh, the poster, right? And you, you, you see those two in the background. So if they aren't supporting cast, I'd be shocked. But uh, we'll see, you guys. So we're going to be going right into episode three. Of course, we are live over here on Twitch. Join us, guys. Join us, join us. And if you don't know when we go live, it means you're not following me on Twitter. You're not... Uh, checking the community tab over on YouTube to see when I post when we go live. You are not in Discord where I ping on Discord and you're not following on Twitch. I might have said that one twice, but yeah. Guys, there's many, many ways to be notified when I go live. So uh, make sure you keep your eyes out because you could join here, watch the uncut full reactions. Uh, and the only way you could access those after we, we stream the live is going to be over on Patreon. Of course, uh, the VODs will go up on YouTube, but they're going to be cut a little bit. So, um, guys, come join the Discord. Discord's a great place. A lot of discussion, conversation, good stuff like that. So, thank you guys for watching, uh, for the YouTube people, and um, I'll see you in the next one.